right, carrot number four. How do you find the square root of 324? I want to find the square root of 324. So in this case, you could either, again, two methods you can use. You can, again, you can use the, um, you can, again, use trial and error. Actually, there's three methods, sorry. Um, you can use trial and error. You can use a prime factorization, or you can use the method of solution, so, or the long division solution. So I'm going to use the prime factor. I think I've, I've, I'm pretty sure I've answered this question before, but we can go through it. So I want the prime factors of 324. So let's do it. So we have the square root of 324. I can break this down into a root two, and I'm gonna divide two out of this number here. So 324 divided by two would be, I'm gonna see if I can do this in my head. I think it's one, 62? No. I can't do it in my head. Um, 2 times 1 here is 2. Uh, 3 minus 2 is 1. Bring down 2. 2 times 6 is 12. 0, 4. Oh, it is 162. Cool. Okay, it's 162. Cool. Uh, it's just side work here. But it was just me dividing 324 by 2 here. If you're not giving a calculator again. So this here is root 162. And then I can break down this root 162 even further to 162 divided by 2, I believe, is 81. Uh, 2 times 8 here is 16, and 2 times 1 here is 2, root 81. And then I know that um, root of 81 is one of my um, one of my special square roots, because I know this is a perfect square. Well, 81 here is simply, root 81 here is simply just 9 times 9, right? Or you can say it's simply just 9. Because I know that 81, I know, I'll, I'll write this here. 9 squared equals 81. So therefore, 9 equals the square root of 81 here. Because these are one of the perfect squares. That I know. Usually I like to memorize you know, the perfect squares from 1 to 10. And those give you a good basis as to how to approach these problems here. So if I know that 9 equals root of 81, I can simply just say that root of 81 equals 9 here. What I can do now is I can... Uh, I can um, I can group these together. So I have root 2 times root 2, which is simply root 4 times 9. Root 4, I know it's 2 times 9, which will equal 18. And 18 here is my answer for this problem. Um, if you want to be really, really specific, you can say this is plus or minus 18 here is uh, the square root of 324. And as you can see, the solution is correct because you have plus or minus 18 here. So the solution is correct.